the 2023 track and field season is over, and the women's 100 meter dash did not disappoint. Shakari Richardson won the world championships, but Sharika Jackson won the Diamond League final, which gives all the track fans something to look forward to for the upcoming Olympics. But if you were paying really close attention at the USA Outdoor Championships, there was a woman on the starting list for the 100 meter dash who most people have forgotten about. Mary Beth St. Price was there in the 100 meter heats a full decade after she led the entire nation in high school in that event. And regardless of whether or not you remember her name, the fact that she is still here running as fast as she is, is proof that she could have been a legend. And the reason why that actually matters is because she was always supposed to be here, but never supposed to be here all at the same time. The truth is that Mary Beth St. Price was a sprinting phenom who was supposed to become one of the world's best. But her career was derailed by injuries that were so significant that she was supposed to retire from the sport entirely. But she is back now and better than ever, and even a world championship medalist. And even though you probably weren't paying attention, she is proof that it doesn't really matter how you start as much as it does how well you finish. And this is why. What I just said matters so much, cause Mary Beth St. Price has always been one of the best starters in women's sprinting. And her entire career backs that up. At the high school level, it should go without saying that she dominated her competition, sweeping the 100 and the 200 as a junior and a senior at the state meet in Colorado. She also broke state records in the 100 and the 60 meter dashes. But all of that doesn't really matter because she was the fastest high school girl in 2013, running 11.25 wind legal. And that performance got her recruited by the top women's sprint program throughout all of the 2010s, the Oregon Ducks. But things did not turn out as planned. Mary Beth had some success in the Pac-12, but never broke through as an individual qualifier for the NCAA championship meet. In fact, her only races at the NCAA championships came in the 4x100 meter relay. And that was a year where her Oregon Ducks got disqualified. And that is a shame, cause they had a chance to win it all with world champion Jenna Prandini leading the team. Up until now, I haven't said anything about Mary Beth's injuries, but the entire time she was at Oregon, she was battling stress fractures in both of her legs. After that season, she was diagnosed with a condition so severe that she was advised to retire from sprinting entirely. So she technically did for two seasons, but she wasn't willing to give up that easily and came back this time to sprint at Colorado State. And to keep it honest with you, the Mountain West ain't nowhere near as good as the Pac-12, but she did win conference medals in the 60 and the 100 meter dashes during her final college season in 2019. And she even made the NCAA indoor meet in the 60 meter dash. But nobody would have blamed her for calling it a career at the end of her senior year. But this is where they get interesting. Cause in 2020, her first year running unattached, she made the USA Indoor Championship final in the 60 meter dash. And in 2021, she ran the 100 at the Olympic trials. But in 2022, she made good on the potential that she flashed all the way back in high school. Could Mary Beth St. Price not only made the USA Indoor Final, but finished second when she was there. Remember, this is the same woman who never made an NCAA Championship Final, either indoors or outdoors. And she did not disappoint at the World Indoor Championships because she came back home with a bronze medal in the 60. She ran a new PR to pull it off. And in 2023, she proved that it was not a fluke cause she made the USA Championship final again, finishing in second. Regardless of whether or not you've ever known her name, Mary Beth St. Price was the fastest American girl in 2013. And one full decade later, she is proving herself to be legitimate as a world-class sprinter. She never had the success in college that most people think that she could. And when she did turn pro, 
nobody would even sponsor her to go out and do it. But Mary Beth St. Price is a world championship medalist, and she's proof that it doesn't always matter if the trailer doesn't quite match the movie. But if you keep on watching all the way till the end, things just might turn out fine all on their own. I'm Coach Rob, and thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more content like this, then please like and subscribe.